Hi, Governor. Um, the state set the requirements that allows the counties to reopen. Um, obviously, if the requirements, requirements were more stringent or had started later, fewer people would have contracted the virus and fewer people would have died. Given that, did you put the state's economic recovery ahead of the public health benefit? Often, uh, Phil, we talk about social determinants of health. When you have poverty rates, unemployment rates, when you have now over 5.5 million people uh, on unemployment just since uh, March 12th, March 15th, uh, when you have people that don't have access to basic preventative health care, when you have people that are struggling and suffering with severe uh, mental health and brain health issues, when people are not attending to their physical and emotional needs, those social determinants of health also must be considered. This is not an economic question. It's a health question broadly defined. This state is very proud of itself, of leading the nation in terms of moving forward as the first state, the state of home order. We think, and I'll leave that to more objective minds, we believe, but more objective minds, I think, concur that that saved lives. There's a certain point where you have to recognize you can't be in a permanent state where people are locked away for months and months and months and months on end to see lives and livelihoods completely destroyed without considering the health impact of those decisions as well. So I appreciate the frame, but I think that frame, you need to add a third leg of consideration uh, and look at the issues uh, of poverty, look at the issues of lack of health care and health access, mental health and mental health care uh, and access, all as part and parcel uh, of a decision making. And moreover, in closing, make this point, that you have health officers that have the right and responsibility to make those decisions for themselves, working with local elected officials. And you know well, there are a number of counties that haven't chosen to move forward. Unlike other states, we as a state are not mandating that they do. This is an important distinction. Many states mandate, regardless of local decisions and conditions, that those states need to move forward. The state of California does not. So I have great reverence, I have great respect for local health officers, uh, local elected officials that are entrusted uh, to represent, truly represent the needs of their counties, their cities, and their regions to do the right thing. But again, it's trust and verify. And the purpose of today's slides and today's presentations were to put up uh, a light, 13 counties that we are monitoring, supporting uh, with technical assistance. Uh, to do what we can to mitigate the spread uh, as we begin to meaningfully reopen our economy as a nation, not just as a state.